Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a mukbang video. I put up a poll last night and I asked you guys if you guys wanted me to eat Portillo's today or Wendy's and you guys picked Portillo's so that's what we're gonna do. Secretly I was wishing you guys would pick Portillo's so thank you for everyone who picked Portillo's but Wendy's doesn't sound bad anyways. So uh, I'm not sure if Portillo's is only in Chicago or Illinois. I haven't really seen it anywhere and I like I travel a lot anyways but let me know if you guys have Portillo's out where you're at or is it just like a Chicago thing but let me show you guys what I got I'm at a different setup right now I'm, I'm in my living room okay it's just that I got the tree right here and then I got the natural lighting today just felt like it was perfect like perfect area right here so okay uh, I got a chopped salad and then loaded with ketchup and then I got some fries lots of ketchup and then I got two things of jardinera peppers a hot dog salads come with a piece of bread and then a super delicious cheeseburger been craving a cheeseburger since like forever so yeah let me set up really quick and then we'll be right back all right loves this is what the setup looks like so far I've got my hot dog my burger and now I'm gonna just mix up my salad this is what the chopped salad looks like it basically has lettuce tomato ca uh, red cabbage chicken tomato did i say that pasta bacon and uh, it also comes with onions and like that i can't i can't pronounce the cheese it's not blue cheese it's kind of like blue cheese but it has like a stronger taste and i don't like it so i just i took took it off here's what the salad looks like after mixing everything up i'm gonna put it back here i actually forgot my drink let me go get a drink all right, and to drink, we're going to have this peach and nectar ice drink. I just tasted these for the first time ever the other day, and they're so, so good, especially this one. So good. Okay. Okay, guys. Are we ready? Let me show you guys what the hot dog looks like and what it comes with. A pickle, hot pepper, tomatoes, mustard, and um, ketchup. Let me tell you, super good. That's a good hot dog. Super, super good. I'm gonna put some ketchup right here so we can dip the fries. How has everyone been doing? What are you guys eating with me today? Hopefully you guys have a Portillo's nearby so you can go pick up some Portillo's. Okay. Here's what the cheeseburger looks like. Let's go ahead and try it. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mm. 
I'm gonna open up the Jardinera peppers. Oh, that's not good. Right all over the carpet. Now let's try some of the chopped salad. Mmm. Super good. So, how has everyone been doing? Guys, I don't know if you guys read my community post the other day. <laughs> But I did open up my OnlyFans again. I know I had closed it down the first time after a while because I got hired at my job. And then all I did was like work, 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 and I'd have like no energy for anything else. So I decided to close it down and like why charge people for bare minimum. But now since I'm home, I have a lot more time. So I opened up my OnlyFans. No regrets. I know I'm going to have a lot of, well, not a lot because like last time I opened it up, I didn't get a lot of negativity about it. I know it's usually those old school senoras that uh, don't agree with the 20, I mean it is, it is 21 and above content so it's definitely not for children. Uh, so you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys know what that means, what kind of content I'm putting on there. Uh, you know, some people might disagree but like is 2021 and like I've noticed in my family nobody's perfect everybody got their baggage and what's that one saying I don't know I, I'm not religious guys but I know that there's just one saying that basically if you haven't committed sins throw a rock I, I don't know do you guys know what I'm saying that that one word throw a rock if you haven't committed a sin look I'm not trying to get religious but I know that's something. But anyway, when I was a little girl, I used to think that my family was like perfect, right? Nobody did anything wrong. But this year, hmm, a lot of stuff has came out to light. So I don't care if my family would ever find out about my OnlyFans or whatever it is, I'm getting my coin and like I don't know I don't I don't know guys like I just don't care <laughs> I don't care um nobody's perfect like I said But yeah, I know that there's people that don't agree with, uh, you know, that type of content, but <sighs> I don't know what to tell you. Like, do you? If, I, and I know I get a lot of women, okay, after I opened up my OnlyFans, I've gotten so many women in my um, DMs talking about they've been wanting to open up an OnlyFans, but they're not sure because of so-and-so reason, you know, there's a million reasons why. Obviously, once you put it into the internet, it's going to be there forever. Forever. So it's something I'm aware of. It's not like I'm not aware of this. It's just that I'm at a point in life where I just... It's my life. I'm making my money. I'm paying my bills. It, 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 just imagine, like, all these, these times, like, you sent your ex who's broken your heart multiple times nudes for nothing when you can be selling them for money <laughs> I mean that's the way I see it I don't know but again everyone's different I respect if you don't agree with it um but yeah the first time I opened up my OnlyFans I got a lot of positive like a lot of positive a lot of support with it and uh thank you <laughs> Oh, 
like I said, no regrets. I am not living my life for others. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? so good so yeah i'm like so excited about my only fans i'll link it down below if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe it's 5.99 a month i'm gonna be posting uh okay so you guys know how i do my adam and eve try and hauls but i usually wear like a bra under because i don't want to get flagged or demonetize and stuff so i will be posting wednesdays and fridays um like a try on of a piece of lingerie without the bra if you guys know what i'm saying so it's like you you can get a like better visual of it and on me so that's what's good that's what's going to be happening on only fans and then also if anybody wants a little more uncensored private uh content and that would be through uh, private messages and obviously that's ex where i'll for sure make my money i've been making my money uh, uh, selling uncensored content via private messages. So, if you've been wanting, oh, and I also have one-on-one -on -one conversations with like almost everyone. Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot, guys. Like I have just opened it up a few days ago, and I get so many messages. So many messages I, I like try to keep up and you know but the good thing is that I'm home now so I have like more time for it whether like last time that I got that job and then I was so busy all the time like I just couldn't keep up anymore and I just didn't find it fair to have my OnlyFans and like charge even though I wasn't charging a lot but like still you know um, I just didn't feel right with it but yeah it's like it's really good money so if you guys have been thinking about starting an OnlyFans I say you do you. You're going to make really good money. Like I said, no regrets at all. I mean, if you're the type to worry about, like, what your family's going to think or if they're going to find it, then I put a little more thought into it before doing it because, like I said, once it's on the internet, it's on there forever. So, just, just a little advice. Are you going to make good money? Yes, you are. Mm. This is all good, guys. I'm already full. I'm gonna leave my OnlyFans link in the description box below if you're interested to go subscribe. <laughs> Self promo. <laughs> Just do you, girl. Or guy. You know, make your money. Make your money.
You gotta put yourself first, you know? That's the way I see it. Putting myself first means doing things, risk taking without being afraid, without the fear factor of what someone's gonna say or think being it, you know? Um, If they support you, they can support you. If they don't, then I don't know. You can kick rocks or learn to accept your reality. But for a long time now, I refuse to live my life the way, um, in a way where I'm always afraid of what others think. And I feel like that's healing. That's healing. When you officially say it's enough and I come first. And if I want to do this, I'm going to do this. Period. Obviously, as long as you're not hurting yourself or others, I feel like do what you desire and what you want. So, yeah. Just just a little, a little something. <sighs> But yeah, guys, I am so full. Like, literally, I haven't ate today and, like, I'm so full already. So yeah, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this little Portillo's um, mukbang. Uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my OnlyFans if you guys are interested in that type of content. I'm just letting you guys know and be aware of what type of content you guys are going to be seeing on my OnlyFans. Uh, it is $5.99 or $5.00. Five, I think. To subscribe and it is one-on-one -on -one conversations it comes with a subscription no extra charge the only extra charges will be like the extra uncensored type of stuff um but other than that uh, i hope to see you guys there i love you guys so so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye